Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. I'm up in the high Sierras today and we're targeting rainbow trout. Um, I want to troll between one and one and a half miles an hour. Um, the water's a little chilly. So I'm going to start out with two wedding ring spinners. I'm going to start off with a smile blade model up near the surface and I'm going to run a standard model uh, down about 15 feet on lead core line and I'm going to tip both of my wedding rings with worm. And here's how I do it first wedding ring this is my standard one it's a it's a wedding ring it has a uh, chrome body some chrome beads some red beads and a bright orange blade this is a double hook model and this is one I'm gonna run at 15 feet so I'm just gonna take a, a mini crawler and I'm gonna snap off about an inch of it right there like that and I'm gonna go ahead and pin that on those two back hooks. I'm gonna insert one, the top hook, the one closest to the spinner, into the worm and I'm gonna bring it out and then the other hook, I'm just gonna hook through the worm's body and put a little curl in the worm. And uh, let me slide that spinner back down here so you can see it. Simple as that, that's rig number one, that's 15 feet. So we'll set this one in the water and I'll bait up the other one, which I'm going to bait a little different. Now this is a smile blade. Um, it's a smile blade wedding ring. So I'm going to use a worm threader because this smile blade wedding ring has a slow death worm hook on it. So I'm going to take that section of worm, probably inch and a half long or so, put it on a worm threader like so. Grab my rod. And that worm will stay on there, or we hope he will. Um, and there we go. Now this is a red and silver smile blade version of the wedding ring, and it has that slow death worm hook on it. Super effective when you're fishing a worm. Let's track down that worm again. Tangled in a rope, story of my life. <laughs> so take that worm, put that hook in the in the end of the threader. Takes me a second. I'm I'm old and blind. I just slide that worm up over the top, down the hook. There's a little weight on these slow death hooks on the Max Lure uh, spinner, so we'll just over the top. There we go. We are we are baited up. We are baited up and ready for action. And let me show you this spinner right there. That is going to work. That's going to be dynamite. That worm's going to spin. The spinner's going to spin. It's going to put out lots of flash and vibration. What you get when you troll a wedding ring spinner, you get flash, you get color, you get vibration. And if you tip them with worms like that, you have the taste of real bait. So let's get these in the water, get our speed up to about one and a half miles an hour or thereabouts and see what happens. I don't think it's going to take too long to get some fish into the, uh, into the kayak. Any Wedding ring, man. Can't beat it. It is a trout killer. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Had a couple short strikes, but this one is this one is hooked. Nice little rainbow. Woo! There we go. Fish of the day. <laughs> Not a huge fish, but we're off to a good start. We ain't there, Lucy. <laughs> Wedding ring, getting it done. There's that orange blade, chrome body, and uh, we'll get this guy back in the lake. There we go. Back in the lake. 
lake with you. And that's a, that's just a dandy spinner. Get some more, uh, another little piece of worm on there and get that back in the water. See if we can get another one. Fish on, on that deeper wedding ring. Once again, they like that red and chrome pattern, that's for sure. Awesome. Can't beat a wedding ring, that's for sure. Something about that that red red bodied wedding ring with that worm on there that just uh, just attracts them, and when they hit it, they stay hooked. There we go. All right. <laughs> Wedding ring, baby. It's good stuff right there. Right there, you could not lay off that orange blade, the beads, the whole thing, the vibration. That is just a great presentation for really trout any anywhere, but particularly up here in the high uh, in the high country. There it is. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Man, he's going to look good. I'm going to take him home. He's going to look good in a smoker. So, good stuff. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Got that one on my shallow line. Sweet. Now, this is on the Smile Blade wedding ring. It's a, a chrome Smile Blade, or at least a silver Smile Blade, and a red bead body. And he really hammered that. That was awesome. He jumped all over that smile blade wedding ring. The worm on the back, irresistible. <laughs> He's going home. He's going into smoker. My tackle assortment is crammed with wedding rings. Why? Because they're one of the most versatile lures a trout and landlocked salmon angler can use. They come in a broad range of colors, different blade colors, different bead colors, different configurations, different sizes. Um, you can run these lures anywhere from about a half a mile an hour all the way up to two plus miles an hour. Let's take a look at some of my kokanee, my kokanee specific wedding rings. These are all UV, you can see the different colors, different color beads, different color blades, and they all come rigged with the glow hooks. You pop a piece of corn on there, put them behind a dodger, put them behind a set of flashers or troll them naked, you're gonna catch kokanee. About half the time I'm trolling them in combination with dodgers, once in a while the flashers, and when the bite turns tough, I'm not afraid to run them naked. In fact, I do that a lot. Um, You'll be catching fish when nobody else is because you're using a very subtle presentation. Whatever your normal setback is when you're catching kokanee, when the bite turns tough, put on a naked wedding ring, double that setback, get that lure back there 60, 70, 80 feet, and uh, you'll start picking off those shy, hard to hook kokanee. Let's look at some of the trout, the trout versions I carry. You notice I carry them all carry them all on closed cell foam whether it's a piece of pool floaty or this is, a, this is actually an old knee pad here you see the lures I was using in the opening the spin drift that's the uh, smile blade version of the wedding ring and the standard double hook metal blade version um, I got a variety of colors if I had to choose a favorite I would go with that smile blade version because I can run it very very slow and when the water's cold and the trout are playing hard to get that's often when I break out my wedding rings. I'll put that worm on there, and I want to go really slow. I want all that flash and vibration, but I want to keep that lure in front of the fish for a maximum amount of time. You saw in the video there, one of those fish, he came in and he played with that wedding ring for a while. And what I did, I just kept slowing down and slowing down and slowing down. And when he finally committed, you'll see me, I get on the, I get on the pedals and I hook him. But uh, that fish was just playing a little, I'm gonna come in and peck at this worm. And by, by slowing down, I was able to get him to get that lure in his mouth and I got him. So 
versatility. That's what wedding rings are all about. To see all the versions, go on the Max Lure website because this thing, it just comes in a crazy array of colors, different versions. Those are my trout versions there. Um, they come in standard size. Here's a standard size UV. Here's a great one for Mackinac, big trout, stuff like that. I think this is called the Super. Yeah, the Super. I call it the Magnum. I mean, look at the size of that. Compared to the standard, that's a much larger lure. That's going to put out a bunch more flash, a bunch more vibration, and it has a much larger profile. That's a lure you could take up to a place like, say, Lake Tahoe, pin a gulp minnow on there, and you could you know, you put a whipping on the Mackinac with that. You could put a whole night crawler on there. So if you want to go big, grab some of those big jumbo Magnum wedding rings. Um, if you want to go small, say the kokanee bite's tough here's a real unique smile blade version it comes with a dressed hook it's got a little it's very compact i want to show you this hook check out that hook it comes with a little like uh like glow flash on there it's just very cool um where's that i've got one of these really small versions it doesn't have the dressed hook on it i won't take it off here but i'll show it to you it's a, it's a smile blade version. It's right here, and I've got it rigged up with the double hook. So put a couple pieces of corn on there. That's one I would reach for when a kokanee bite goes dead. Scope that thing out there. Very compact profile. The scent of the corn, it's going to trigger strikes from those fish when they're really playing hard to get. Let's say you get out there and, you know, dark conditions. We've got an overcast day. I really like, for trout, you know, I really like to run those... Uh, those dull blades, the hammered brass blades, they work great for trout on rainy days, stuff like that. These are the standard, you know, red and orange beads. These are also a great, a great option when a kokanee bite goes dead. I'm, and I've got these rigged with double um, your, you know, black chrome hooks, not red hooks. Um, sometimes red hooks work great for kokanee. And a lot of guys think, oh, you got to have the red hooks for kokanee. Not true. You'll catch just as many kokanee on those, uh, those dark, you know, dark colored hooks a lot of the time. So don't get caught up in that. Another thing about wedding rings, if you fish them, you're catching fish on them, you're almost certainly going to break off your hooks. Don't freak out. Have, have plenty of wedding rings in the boat, but grab all those parts and just put them in your tackle box because they are super simple to re-rig. Just tie a leader with a hook or two hooks on it, slide them back down on that leader, and you're ready to fish again. That way you can mix and match, you can take those parts, you can have some fun. So anyway, that's about it. Go to the Max Lure website, check out the wedding rings. If you're serious about trout, landlocked kings, kokanee fishing, you need a bunch of wedding rings. They're one of the very, very most versatile lures you can use. They're awesome. Flash, vibration, color, that equals hookups. And these lures are just great for pairing with bait, whether it's an anchovy filet for kings, um, a, a night crawler for trout, or a piece of corn for those kokanee. Um, versatility, that's what you get when you go out and you fish with wedding rings.